gosh, wow. We're your owners. We are best friends now. Watermill, we are your people. We are here. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new around here, we're Brittany and Drew, two hopeful adventurers who got married, moved into a van, and have been chasing adventures all around the globe ever since. And now, after moving from the USA to Portugal, we'll be documenting our entire journey of building our dreams as we transform a historic water mill into our first home, not on wheels. Join us as we embark on this new and exciting phase of life. Now, Let's take in a deep breath and let it out. Let the adventure begin. There's our house. Our beautiful water mill. Listen to that water roaring down the stream. It is crazy that we haven't been inside the water mill since last summer. But the time has come. Today is the day. That we get the keys. <gasps> and we sign the papers. Finally, after all the back and forth, making sure the protections are in place, we feel good about this and we can finally move forward. And so do the sellers. So yeah. everyone involved is happy. Although our names still won't be on the deed until construction is complete. And I couldn't be more grateful that the day is here because the first time we saw this water mill two years ago, I wondered if this would be the one. The place we call home? And it is. <laughs> and you guys are gonna finally get to see the inside. It's really special inside. It is. But first we gotta go meet with the lawyers and do all those things. So let's take you guys along and actually show you a little bit of what we've been up to here since our last episode. You might've noticed in the drone footage that Nelson did a fantastic job leveling out and creating little pathways. We now have a great landing area for when we bring all the materials, the supplies. We have little cart paths going to each door. So this place, is very usable now. It's just getting better and better every day, every moment of every day. We have some new little flowers blooming as well as some weeds showing up on the terraces. We've decided it is time to get some cover crops. We're thinking clover. This is also all gonna get cleared out in the coming days, 50 meters away from the mill. We've already started cleaning up the closest areas, but you see all of these tiles here? Well, they were all in a mess, like a jumbled, broken pile under the dirt, all up in here. It's kind of crazy because we have no idea how deep these tiles go in here. I mean, they're just like in the ground. Oh my goodness. You know? There we go. There's a big one. Nelson needed us to move those tiles in order for him to do his thing over here. And I'm going to tell you, it was some hard work it was one tile at a time one load at a time but bit by bit we got a nice collection over there that we can use for upcoming projects and while drew and i kind of gather our things and get ready to meet up with the lawyers and get those keys we'll let you enjoy the footage of us working hard and moving all of those tiles that were left here from the previous owner because we know you guys like to see us work That was almost just friggin' confetti tiles everywhere. Oh, we would add a whole bunch of mess. These definitely don't sit as flat as the other tiles. No. But they stack nice. They do look nice. Mm -hmm. Hopefully these stacks are a little more secure than my tailgate method. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I don't think that that'll be moving much. Oh, and they're definitely not light either. No. Ooh, it's like pizzas. We're driving down to the coast where we're meeting with the lawyers and remember how we said that people will drive up from the Algarve to fill up their water bottles at the spring at the top of the mountain? Well, this guy in front of us, he's got it dialed in. 
He's got the exact number of water bottles needed to fill his trunk perfectly, or the bed of his truck, so that not one falls over. It's a lot of water bottles. There must be 35 in there. Yeah, it's I like would guess. guessing how many peanuts <laughs> are in the jar. Yeah. gotta be there on time. Let's just hope we don't end up down any of the really tiny streets. I can't even make that turn. We did like, end up on the tiny streets. It's like an acute angle less than 90. <sighs> Look at a teeny. Uh -huh. Gonna watch out for the scooter. Turn left onto Ruined Elysium, Dom and We almost made it out. <laughs> Open sesame. We're doing this. It was the first property that we ever looked at. Oh, it was the first? The very first. Two years ago. <laughs> it's paper, sorry. No, no problem. Paper, yeah, paperwork. Okay. Take a moment. Signing. Three. Two. Three. Three. Next stop, the bank. Five hours later. I will be uh, in 50 minutes to pick up the key because okay. the office uh, closes uh, 5.30. So I'll, I'll get a hold of the key and I'll wait for you there. Okay, Yay! you're the best. Really appreciate um, you doing that. Thank you, it took forever oh, at the bank. Yeah. Well guys, after five hours at the bank, <laughs> A long five hours. I even had to run over to a cafe to get some lunch. Brittany and Mafalda <laughs> and myself, we all had to find bathrooms at times. It was just a long day. Mafalda is our lawyer and she traveled all the way down from Lisbon. We had yeah. a driver bring her down here yeah. for hours. Yeah. And now she's beginning the journey home. So she'll get home after dark. We tried to get her on flights, but there was some unreliability of that. So just Thank you, Mafalda, for coming down today. Thank you so much. And everything went smoothly with the signing yeah. of the papers. Making and, the payments. And as you guys know, the situation as far as our names being on the deed, once the construction and everything is complete, it has made yeah. this be like somewhat of a very unique situation. Yeah. And so you normally wouldn't really have to go to the bank to do what we did, but we have to set up a special kind of account. Essentially an escrow account where funds will be held during the duration of this project, and once everything's completed, those will be released. And the next step now is for us to get the keys. I know, and now we're going to meet the realtor right now. Mm. He's been our friend now for two yeah. years, since the first time we saw the mill. We even went bodyboarding together. Who goes bodyboarding with the realtor? <laughs> Yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah. So because of him, we're going to be able to have our keys today and show you guys the inside of the mill. Wow. Finally. What a day. I did not anticipate spending that much time in the bank. I am going to say that. But I thought we were going to go to lunch and take Mafalda to yeah. lunch. We texted her, we'll take you out to lunch. She didn't say anything. She knew. She knew to bring her own lunch. She knew <laughs> to expect that the bank would take forever. That's one thing to know about Portugal. Anything at the bank, especially if you arrive at lunchtime. Because yeah. our time before lunchtime. Yeah. Anywho. Okay. To the keys. To the keys. Let's go. Oh, and I have a present for you. But we'll wait till we get the keys for me? first. Yeah. Oh. I got a present. Oh, that's that's real special. <laughs> More storks. Stork Central. Wow. Storks on the lines. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes It feels like the very first time, doesn't it? Arriving home. Yeah, I think I've done this about 34 times by now. <laughs> but now it's the first time with the keys. Can you guys believe it? Look at this. The keys, do you see what that says? Moinho. And on the other side, it says stupa, which is the word for like a sacred place of prayer and good energy and that just goes to say a thing or two about what kind of a sweet soul the seller is so and somebody who would start a project that's so unique to this yep and those of us who would pick it back up 
<laughs> we are a rare breed, but we, we feel are. like we are uniquely the ones. The ones. <laughs> what a day it's been. Oh, I'm yeah. exhausted. Me too, guys. You know, as excited as I am to have the keys, is it crazy for me to say that I want to go in tomorrow? Why are you whispering to them? <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. We've got the keys. You guys, can you believe it? We haven't gone in yet. We've just been taking it all in, reflecting on the journey that it has been to get to this moment. It has been 18 months. We're gonna eat some breakfast and then finally go inside the mill. Actually, while we finish up our breakfast, why don't we let you guys enjoy scenes from the first time we ever went into the water mill. Yeah, this is a really cool clip, guys. I edited this nearly two years ago and held on to it because we were a little bit afraid that like if we exposed everything all at once, maybe someone else would scoop it up and, you know, purchase our dream. And we just, you know, it's when you share your lives, you have to pick and choose what and when to share. And now is the time that you get to see why we fell in love with this place on the very first day. I'm Drew. Nice to meet you, Nice Drew. to meet you, too. Well, maybe you can park over that's, here. That's what I think, yeah. yeah. Basically, the road down to this property is pretty rough and a little windy, but we love how secluded and peaceful it is. To the west coast as well? All yes. around, yeah. We've been here for a long time. Yes. Yeah. 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 All the way to Peña Jarrish and yeah. Porto uh, and Peniche. And, and then we came down and did it all yeah, over again. Yeah. Where are you guys from? <laughs> uh, U.S. U.S., yeah, yeah. America. This is one of the plot drawings. Okay. The smaller plot yep, down, there. down there, and this is the bigger plot we're looking at now. And they like just touch on the corner. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would try to buy this patch of land down there. Ah, okay. okay. He was saying that we could put solar up on the mountain side here. So you have water, clean mountain round. Helps with the fires yeah. too. Lower bit used to be the old water mill. Okay. You can see he abandoned the restoration, but inside the house is still something left. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's so cool. Does the river go straight this way or does it come no, from that way down? Like this. like this. Just right here. Something to know is that in many of the municipalities in Portugal, if land doesn't have a building on it or an original ruin, then you are not allowed to build a new home on it, which we love because one, it preserves the beauty and serenity of the area, but also since none of the neighbors surrounding this property have land with ruins, we are basically guaranteed peace and privacy two very important factors on our wish list, along with solar. Welcome. <laughs> wow, Ooh. high ceilings. Yeah, you like animals in here because nobody lives Yeah, there. yeah. Oh, amazing. Wow. I love that they put in a skylight. <gasps> yeah, that was the deviation building plan. Okay. It's actually uh, thick glass from a bank. Are they okay with that permitting wise? Because the seller was creatively inspired to deviate a bit from the plan that was approved by the Camara or municipality, this property comes with quite a lot of questions, architectural unknowns, permits to be obtained, and loads of potential to be had. Am I right? Who's with me? What they don't agree with is this. These beams. And this connection. What I would do is change this anyway, possibly put steel in it. Okay. Because then it's out of your head. Yeah. This is an old grinding wheel. Underneath here is a cavity, like a rectangular cavity. Yeah. And if you look out the window here, yes. you can see the wheel was spinning here, an axle, and it was ah, connected to this. Connected to that. Wow. Okay. What I would do, put yeah. the septic tank here. Yeah. The septic tank. Another architectural and permitting question mark. And since the property is pretty small and oddly divided, composting isn't really an option. Yeah. We will be there to help you. Aww. In person or just in by person. the phone? In, in, yeah. yeah. It, this is yeah. part of a, a passion project. Yeah, and passion. Aww. This is all concrete, so it's solid. Okay. Very solid. Because he wasn't able to complete the project for various reasons, there are still a lot of supplies left that can be used. Plan this to be the bathroom yeah. and then a small bathroom upstairs. That is a bat. A little tiny bat. He got confused. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> And this is a fig tree with its own water source. And this is mint. I'm liking this a lot more than I thought that I was. 
it would be a lot of work, but that's something that we're looking for. Could you imagine transforming this place? <sighs> Thumbs up for that, I think, for sure. Maybe two. <laughs> A question we've been getting a lot from some of our new subscribers, which it's really nice to see our channel growing these days, is some of you wondering how did we get here? Why out of all the places in the world did we end up in Portugal? And we have a video, an older video, about how four years of van life changed us. It ended up being eight years of van life, but basically after traveling Canada, the US, Africa and Europe in our camper van. The first and only place that Drew and I ever really said that we could stop rolling was here in Portugal. And we did look for properties from Hawaii, California, Panama, and Baja, Mexico. But nothing did it for us but here, like literally this spot right here. And so much of our journey wouldn't have been possible without your support. The birds. <laughs> The support of those of you who choose to subscribe to our channel, but also those of you who have chosen to become our patrons. And basically our patrons are a community of probably our biggest fans. Now you don't have to do this. Our videos are here on YouTube for free. But if you gain particular value, whether it's inspiration, joy, love, adventure, whatever it is that we bring to you guys through the screen, if you want to become a patron, you can choose whatever amount that you feel comfortable with. $1 per video, $5 per month. Some of you even go as far as doing $20 per video, which is incredible. And we appreciate every single one of you, no matter what the amount is, we appreciate you so much. And we're always putting little bonus content and materials and fun snippets from behind the scenes over there. So we welcome you to check out our patron and support us there. Thank you guys, we love you. We couldn't do this without you. We finally get to do this. Finally, finally. This way. Oh. <laughs> I love this front door. Anybody home? Soon we will be. It's gonna take a lot of work though before we're living inside of this. <laughs> Our first time opening it with the key. Wow. Oh, it feels so nice and cool inside. My heart's beating fast. <laughs> we're here. even more grand than I remember. I almost think that we could just live in this portion of the house. Hey, we got a ladder. We got scaffolding. <gasps> oh, that's great because we didn't unwrap the ladder that we bought yet. We can still return it. <laughs> oh, and the chairs. The seller made these. He's an amazingly talented carpenter back in Holland. We should say though that this entire roof has to get removed. Uh, so that's gonna be quite a project. Yeah, especially fixing this beam that spans the entire room, these two columns that are trees. We gotta come up with something that's a little stronger and approved by the city hall. They want steel or concrete cement, you know. Oh gosh, wow. We're your owners. We are best friends now. Watermill, we are your people. We are here. We're here. This is the leaking situation yeah. that was caused by the unapproved window. I've been told by people who've owned homes with skylights in the past that they always seem like they have leaks. So we're gonna do whatever we can to try to prevent and build ours properly. Yeah. Wow. Wow. There's so many more materials in here and neatly organized than I recall. Wow. Farben Wasser glass. Tegel Lim powder. Oh, bar and chain oil. At least that one's easy. Propen acacia vur murstenmen. Well, babe, it looks like we're gonna have to learn some Dutch too. I can't say I ever expect to be learning another language. <laughs> that's great. Wow, that's, that is great. Yet. Wow, it's a whole bunch of screws and hardware. Wow, does anybody know what this is? It feels rubbery. 
I'm not sure. Oh, wow. And look at all the hemp bedding. That must be for insulation, I think. I think they make a hempcrete. And this stuff. What do we do with this? I think it's for the walls, no? Maybe? If we already, you know, were a little bit not knowing how to do some things, you know, like we're first timers here, we got some supplies, but now we have to like work backwards and figure out how to use them. <laughs> This is the original mill grinding stones. These two here. And it made corn flour, which is also used to make the traditional cakes. The bolo de tachu. There's glass on top already. I love that this is just total showstopper in the middle of the living room. Watch that spider above your head. Ooh, Ooh. he's like mummified. There it is. Got it. Whoa. I did that. Thank you. Nature. Everything. <laughs> I love it so much. What did you discover? Homemade sawhorses. There's three sets. You can see the hinges right here. They're big. This is going to be so useful. Yeah, there's a lot of really helpful things. It puts us like 20 steps ahead, I feel like. You know, there was nowhere else where I felt as inspired as I feel here. I could be inspired here for, I think, the rest of my life, but we'll take it one day at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go into the other half. This is the section of the house that the seller added on. You can see the insulation and how he's done a nice job. Does anyone have any ideas on how to better insulate our walls? Because of the high humidity here in winter, we know it can feel very cold inside if it's not done well. Whoa, it's dark up here. See all the building materials we still have? Yeah. They're really nice and neat now. Can barely get those open. Look at all those thorns. Oh, that's our next streaming place. <laughs> Anyone home? Cool, look, we own a basket and hats. And hats. <gasps> and the traditional one cheek chair. This was a design by the Romans who originally came to the area. Oh, look, a fan. I'm afraid to touch like anything because I don't want anything to jump out. <gasps> Can we just say how much? cooler it is in here. It is significantly cooler. This will be exactly the reprieve that we need from working in the hot summer days. And living in during the summers. Yeah. I don't think we're going to need air conditioning. I hope not. I don't think so. I mean, these huge cement walls and bricks, they should do the job. Oh, tools? Like, things that he's going to have to tell us how to use. <laughs> That's for your experience, you know. Wow, we got a lot of trowels. Brushes, there's clamps. See this? What this is, is all mashed up styrofoam. Something's been eating the foam insulation in here. The rats, for sure. Yeah. They need to get out of here. We're gonna have to get rid of those rats. We're gonna have to redo the insulation. All of it? I don't know, I think they're eating the spray foam that's between the bricks. Oh yeah, they're definitely. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna open the lower window and you can look out of your turret. Okay. What? Ah, lizard. Oh. oh. <laughs> and this is our bedroom. Whoa, remember that? The clay bag. This is natural river clay from Holland. He intended to use it as interior plaster that would cover the bedroom walls. I also remember there being a rat inside of this once. Put your hand in the end of that tube. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> no. <sighs> Don't do that again. Please. At least he's not in there. Or no, he's he... not in there. Not alive anymore. Wow. And there's the tube that wow. helped divert the water. Now the question is, what are the first steps inside? I mean, I think we should still focus on the exterior and clearing out the eucalyptus and the 50 meters around the house and the camper. But like, I have a house to clean. I'm so excited. I feel so comforted yeah. and at peace that we like have access to the water mill now. Man. Like we're allowed in our house. <laughs> We've been living on this land for two months now, two it's and a half true. months. 
and we haven't been able to be in here. So this is just the biggest new revelation for us. It's such a good feeling. Yeah. Such a great feeling. We're home. We're home. We're between the master bedroom and the second bedroom and the turret bathroom. Well, we've debated making that like an adorable little nursery or art studio, but yeah. I don't know. It looks like a special place for a bathroom. And after living on the road for eight years, where we shower and bathe will be a sacred space forever. Yeah. I also forever. think it's important to use a special space that's one you're gonna use every single day. Look how well this lintel was built. Really well built, yeah. strong. They used extra strong bricks and supports above it and then this beautiful piece of wood to frame the door. And they did it on all the windows. Here, this one gives a really good example of what it looks like. The extra strong bricks, the main wood beam, the insulation, and the window frame. Oh, and I believe that there's all the glass and window frames in the other room. Exactly. All oh, right there. Double pane glass. Look That's fireproof. Wow. I'm so glad to see that. That's really nice. Double paint. I'm so grateful. See how much care went into every detail? We just need a little cleaner. Clean them up. Wax on, <laughs> wax off. I think I'm the little cleaner that you're dreaming of. And I have a giant broom. <laughs> the biggest broom I've ever seen. Wow. Look at this, I hit the jackpot. Look at all those glasses. Wow. I hope this house comes with the instruction manual. It comes with the seller. He's gonna be our friend, you know? He is gonna come here in the future. Yep. I'm really excited to meet him. We got a lot of questions for you. Him and his wife. What I really love about this is that we're finishing somebody else's dream. Yeah. They put a lot of planning, thought, and hard work for a whole decade into this thing. They just needed someone to yeah. bring in new energy yeah. to help finish what they started. One thing that I think we might have to actually think about this summer is maybe we're gonna have to section off one of the rooms in here. That's a great idea. And maybe put up some plastic. It'll still be yeah. raw and basic building materials, but have <gasps> maybe a closet, a dresser, a bed. You wanna live in the you wanna live in the turret temporarily for a little bit? Well, that would mean a small bed too, so maybe. Maybe we want to live in the bedroom. Maybe we can make a hanging bed. Oh, <gasps> guys. The ideas. The possibilities. <laughs> Let's go back this way one more time. Okay. I've always wanted stairs in a house. Is this a one level house or a two level house? It's like a three level. Tonight. Wow. Are you from the fresh oven? Cool. I love that. Wow, and these have grown fast. They're beautiful. Nice ferns. <laughs> yeah. So, there you have it. Finally. The tour of our magical watermill ruin. That over the next few years we'll be renovating into our first real home here in Portugal. Can you guys believe that it looked like this just a few short weeks ago? Look at how far we've come. And there's so much more transformation that's in store. Thank you again for all of your support. It means the world to us. I don't think we could do it without you. Nope. <laughs>